Maybe you should shape a heart with your hands together. <laughs> Wouldn't be cheesy at all. We're cycling the Danube River following the Eurovelo 6 from Germany to Romania. We hired a videographer for the day. <laughs> <laughs> our first Hungarian food and Hungarian beers. This is Langos. Yes. And has in Hungarian means house. <laughs> and it's kind of like a donut with loads of sour cream, loads of cheese, deep fried. Incredible. <laughs> it literally is incredible. Um. <laughs> this place is too cool. They're playing like Spanishy, Spanishy, salsery music and I'm just on top of an old bus and they've put all these chairs out to make it into a restaurant. That's bad, fine. Hey! That man there, he has brought us to Grandma's Kitchen, not his Grandma's Kitchen. Nah. No. <laughs> That's better. Yeah. <laughs> and um, we're just off the main river, but you'd never know this was here. Louis Bank. We found him in Budapest. This is one of the best things I've ever, ever tasted. It's beef cheek with potato dumplings and crispy onion. Got the langosh. Woo! All in tin foil. It's got loads and loads of cheese on it. We put extra jalapeno and garlic on it. It's gonna be amazing. Let's get to the hill. What a place. Okay, so this is, don't get fooled by the label, this is Palinka, <laughs> not wine. Uh, this is a typical Hungarian spirit, this is homemade, so the best of the time. <laughs> and it can range from 40 to 60 or maybe up to 70 degrees in alcohol. Uh, so I just brought it for you up to this hill with a beautiful view for your first tasting. So much. Yeah, let's do this. <laughs> At first you get a taste. Just smell it first. I know, oh, I smell already. <laughs> <laughs> I always say you never smell it, just get it down there. No, it's, it's good, it's good. <laughs> you can really taste the apricot. It's one of our five a day. Yeah. <laughs> We had one apple and we've had some apricot. <laughs> what do you call it? Bar uh, palinka. Palinka. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> so, from the same fruit, everybody makes a different stuff. It's like practice makes perfect yeah. as well. It sounds like a magic potion. You're going to mix it with a big... <laughs> yeah. And throw in some frogs. It is something like this. And yeah. sometimes it explodes oh, during... Uh, <laughs> so, oh. It can be really interesting. It's exploding here. <laughs> right, how's it? your turn. Oh, yeah. One for the cameraman. Mmm, yummy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't smell it. 
Whichever, but normally it's a shot because it's so bad, but I think... <laughs> I think this one is good. I don't know if you can agree with me. It's really nice. Let's we'll see what she says. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> so this is the Statue of Liberty on the top of the Gallia Hill and also known as the big beer opener. <laughs> it was first uh, erected here like in 1947 after the, after the Soviet people, the kind Soviet people freed us from the Nazi Germany. <laughs> in Budapest day 61 and we're off to a place called Donsod it's about 65 kilometers south on the Eurovelo 6 just thought we'd do a little video and photo of our unpacked bikes they've had a good rest for a few days this is all our stuff that goes on the back of the bikes so I've got my two red panniers which are falling apart and has got a lovely Ortlieb ones which are much better and there's our two bar bags as well both Ortlieb they are really good and this stuff sack here, this has basically got our tent in it um, and has a sleeping bag and also my trainers because now I've got those beauties. There is basically all food and um, some a bit, bit of kitchen stuff, so all the cutlery and plates and stuff. And this is a bit of random stuff, yeah, top stuff really. Top, and that basically sits on there and everything else goes around it. We've got water bottles, this is Brilliant, this is really, really handy. Um, it's the platypus, so it's three liters worth of water. And we've really needed that for our trip. Yeah, that's basically us. So, the next big stage of our trip, really. Very exciting. We don't really know where it's gonna lead us, but we know eventually we're gonna head down south towards Belgrade. It should take about a week. And then we're gonna have a couple of days off in Belgrade, or two nights, and then head through, well, go Croatia to Serbia, and then, I think we head down to Macedonia um, and then back through Bulgaria a little bit. Who knows, we'll find out. Ten minutes outside of Budapest and we're lost directly. I think this is pretty much what we've got to get used to now. It's just very rural little villages. Um, incredibly big potholes everywhere. So we've just found the big detour. Cyclopaths, uh, fellow Instagrammers, found this a week ago or so, and we've just found it as well. We're in a field, middle of nowhere. Trying to find the year of LA6 again. The signs do go quite well for some time, but then all of a sudden you just lose them again. To say the going's been slow today would be an understatement. <laughs> just had a deer jump out in front of her as well. <laughs> just on this big main road now, making up a little bit of time, but still it's quite slow going, it's a bit bumpy. This campsite is completely and utterly empty. I think possibly because it's really off season now. Um, 17th of September, 2018. Really, really quiet. So tonight I'm gonna try out the new bed. So this is the one that Thermarest sent to Budapest for me because um, the previous two have now broken. The idea is to open it up, let it self inflate. Okay, so not even two minutes, and it's got a fair amount of air in it already, so you can probably sleep on it just like that. But I think the idea now is apparently to give it about three or four big blows, and uh, that should be it. Three big puffs, and it's completely blown up. That is so simple. Day 62, and today's the first day we have got no campsite or hotel in mind at all. Um, there's a little restaurant about 90 kilometers down where we're hoping to stay in their garden. We'll see what happens. 
Uh, but basically we're gonna try and go to a place called Kaloska today. Um, we only did 58 k's yesterday because there was just nowhere to stay and the roads were really slow, we were just like, this will do. Um, and we need to make up some time. If we're gonna get to Belgrade by Sunday. Uh, so fluffy. We're doing really well today. Hopefully, we'll be able to get this 90k done pretty well and then uh, still have a couple of days, a uh, couple of hours of daylight where we can find some accommodation, so. See ya. Human power is the winner. <laughs> Not much to see here. <laughs> Whoops. Hazard's really annoyed at me because I took us all the way to Kalasco on the main road. Um, just because the last time before that I saw Kalasco. So I thought, okay, carry on. But until then, we've been looking at the book every town and making sure we're going on the, the guided route, which is a lot more sort of safe and interesting and blah blah. But I didn't mean to. Um, we got to the last town and then just thought carry on. But I apologise and we're going to move on. These things happen with directions. We just stopped here in Kaloska for a quick coffee and a coke and to think about our plan. And um, because we got here a lot quicker than we thought we were going to do, we're actually going to go all the way to Baja. It's another 48k though or something, so it's a big day. Ah, danger, danger. So, oh, Psychotora. Oh, that's that Muppet French guy that was snoring last night. Paz, that's the French, that's the French guy. We're going right. Anyway, on straight on the road. This is where we're supposed to have dinner tonight at six o'clock, but it's only half three, we thought, because we're such good people, we'll stop for a, a very swift, small beer. Oh, there we go, Hazar. <laughs> that's cheers in Hungarian. <laughs> So the sun's just setting and we're nearing in on a big day of around 120 kilometers so it's a record for this trip. Camping! And we're here, oh no there's loads more ducks they're gonna wake us up in the morning again. Oh it's fine. We're here at Badger, we just got to the Badger Ufostal camping site. Another place that's eight quid or something, seven quid I think it was. And um, we're just gonna go right over there to get some food ASAP because we're starving. Record day, 124, 123 kilometers today. So proud of ourselves, aren't we, Haz? So hungry. We can eat everything that the restaurant's got, so we need to go. Good morning, day 63, and we're just leaving Hungary. I basically got no sleep last night. There was a massive um, boat party in this little harbor last night, and um, the French guy came back again and was snoring all night. Literally, it's just, Absolute nightmare. Um, weird snoring karma. I felt really bad for him, but he lost his key this morning, so he's hunting around forever. Meow, meow, meow. It's pretty funny, but I felt really, really sorry for him. He ended up finding it on the grass, um, so that's good. We're gonna go over there to Badger and find somewhere nice for breakfast. Um, something light, because we ate our body weight in Hungarian traditional food last night. The fish soup in Badger is just phenomenal. Amazing breakfast. We had four meals basically and four coffees as well.